Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Coral Island, where we're finally, I think, going to get our pickaxe upgraded, but also, we have a farming skill point. So we get 10% faster growth speed, 15% price increase of all crops. That's crops, not artisan goods. Or a chance to leave a seed behind when clearing crops. My concern with this one is that this is going to leave them behind in the soil. But I'm kind of tempted to go with it. I'm sure there's a way to respec later if we need to. So we're going to give it a try. Yeah. Let's do it. I mean, even if not, it's just free seeds, so why not? All right. So that's really fun. And we did get some crafting recipes as well. Yes, we're going to hang out with Captain in a moment. But Sprinkler 2. Some gold kelp, okay. And it waters a radius of 24 tiles versus 9. That's... That's something. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Um... Yeah. We might make one of them. And just see just how far that goes. And we got an achievement. Fantastic. Okay. That's pretty good. We'll talk to Captain. Check our calendar. Today is Theo's birthday. Okay. How to be a farmer. More about pumpkins. Thank you, Jeff Smith. Tomorrow's weather. Clear and sunny. Detective. Arc 1. Okay. Oh... Okay, now we're safe. Okay, coming on out here. First off, looking at Theo. We have no idea what he likes. Okay, that's all right. We'll figure this out. Let's get our harvest going. We are going to have to figure out that whole shed thing here soon. Okay. Okay. So we can take these to the lab. That would be useful, I think. I've got plenty of wood. That's all pretty good. We are going to need the watering can. Okay. Then, we have papaya jam, pickled corn, and tomato jam. We also, under artisan, we now have cakes. Processing fruits or vegetables into beverages makes juice, mead, wine, beer, sake, coffee, and green tea. Okay. Let's make one of those. Let's see how that does. And let's see what all we can shove in there. So... Oh yeah, and how big is this? Okay, not not huge. But that is big enough for tree fields, which is really cool. Like that's pretty great. 
Just like that. And then I only have to water the one. We'll just leave that like that for now. We'll reorganize it next season, but that's pretty cool. Hmm. I mean, this could go here for now, but I think we'll put it here. I think is where I would like to have it the most. Yeah. Okay. Now, you take things like this. No. Okay. But I saw mead as an option. Oh, that's good. Turns fruit or vegetables into fruit juice or coffee. Hmm. Okay. That's... That is incredible. Wow. That's not bad. I'll take it. Okay. Things are going well thus far. All right. Now, let's take some stuff here and figure out what we want to put through these kegs. A little bit of a sort here and there. I mean, we've got some cranberries and some bell peppers. I don't think that's really necessary. There. Oop. Most of our good stuff isn't ripe right now. Hmm. You know what? Let's try some dragon fruit. Yeah, let's grab all the dragon fruit. We'll go and try that in there. I like that idea. That's a good plan. Okay. Now other things from last season. We can get rid of the blueberry. That's not terrible. It's not my favorite idea though. Let's work on some cranberries. Let's work on bell peppers. Let's work on... I don't think I can do anything with the rice at the moment. Let's see, actually, if we can stick that in the keg. Well, first off, let's see if we can put it in. Oh, we can make rice vinegar. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. Dragon fruit juice. Cranberry jam. And pepper jam. Okay. Okay. And then... Let's go and pet everybody. I wanted that. Thank you. I may have missed their bell last episode. That's my bad. Oh. Did also did not mean to go back indoors. That is also my bad. Okay. So we'll call them out. We'll milk a cow. And we'll dump the animal products back in. 
Exactly, and I can do that better with two pumpkins. And make sure we have the hardwood because we don't. Oops. My mistake. Let's do a little bit of that. And then... Hmm. You know what? No, I'm going to keep some of this. And then we're also going to check in at the um, carpenters on the way home. I think would be really good. See what we need for a shed. I want to see and explore how much space that's going to take up as well. Alright, an ancient battery. That's pretty cool. Um, but I don't have 10 grand. Because I've made mistakes. So I guess we're going to Sam's real quick. Because I've got some jams and stuff to sell. Look at you, dancing up a storm with Taco. And Gong. Who? The little man dancing with me. Look! Is that his new imaginary friend? I haven't heard him mention it before. But let's just go with it. Good to meet you, Gong. Thanks for playing with my son. Maybe we'll see you for lunch later, okay, Gong? Come on, Archie. Let's go home. Okay, Mom. Come on, Taco. Bye, Gong. Bye, Miss Myra. Little prankster. Archie, Taco, and Yusi is gone. Who can see that, yes? So sad that Human cannot see Gong. Gong want to talk to humans and play tricks on Human, but cannot because they cannot see Gong. Hey there, Mara. Who are you talking to? Alright, I'll leave you alone. See? Humans cannot see Gong. But it is okay. Gong has idea. But Gong need human help. Gong tell human more later, okay? <laughs> Alright. Well then, we still need to sell some stuff to Sam. Or we're going to have a problem. Hi, um, fine, by my mayonnaise, I guess. Mmm. Okay. Um, this could be a problem. This could definitely pose a problem. Um, hmm. Can we sell wood to the carpenter, perhaps? Or something? This is getting a little ridiculous. Oh my gosh, another cutscene. <clears throat> hey, Mom. Archie, so nice to see you, dear. What can I... So, do we have any extra newspapers lying around? Did you take sudden interest in the news? Sure, I guess. I 
I think sawdust might work too. Can I take some? What's going on, Archie? Nothing, I just... You know what? Forget it. Hmm. You can talk to me, Archie, if there's something going on. Since when do you not talk to me? It's nothing, Mom. Is this... Is this about a girl? What? Ew. No, you. Mom, why would you say that? I don't know. You've been so secretive lately. All this time alone, scurrying around the house, doing who knows what. I just thought... Ew. Okay, okay. A couple years too early for that one. But there's something, Archie. I don't know. You can tell me. Okay, one minute. <clears throat> what is this? <laughs> is that... Is that a bird? A white-breasted woodwind. I found him lying in the woods a couple days ago, Mom. I think his wing is broken. This is what you've been... I couldn't just leave him there, Mom. I couldn't. He would have died. And I know you and Dad don't like animals, so I didn't want to... Hey, who said we don't like animals? Dad says it, like, all the time. I guess. I mean, we're not animal lovers, per se, Keto, but an injured bird is something else altogether. You want to nurse him back to health? I'll help. You, you will? Of course I will, sweetie. This is a wonderful thing you're doing. You don't have to hide it from us. Oh, okay, that would be great. Thanks, Mom. You hear that, Mr. Beaks? Mom's going to help. Of course I will. Let's start right now. I think I have a few empty shoe boxes in the house. That will make for a great nest for Mr. Beaks, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Oh, I can sell you wood. Not for a lot, but I can sell you wood. And that will be enough. Thank you so very much for your contribution. Oh, wait, I wanted to see what a shed would take. Hold on. An asylum, maybe. Because winter is coming. So there's the mill, which is how we process the grains. Silo's not bad at all. A little bit of resin, some scrap, and some stone. Two grand, 2,500, you know, that's nothing. Um, gold bars. I don't like that, but okay. But a silo's easy. We'll get that easily. Um. And to do something like upgrading. That's not bad. leaving that the way it is for right now until it's bigger I think the basic one should be basic but let's go and finally get working on our pickaxe so that we can enter the next level of the mines so 
just casually sell 200 wood. It's fine. We ha have been hoarding a resource that is easily renewable in this game. We all know how useful it is. Sweet deforestation. Alright. Pickaxe is a go. And we are absolutely broke. Like, painfully, painfully broke. Let's see. Where is the birthday boy? He is a fisherman. He probably would like some fish. And he's down on the beach. And we have a fishing rod. So how about... We get the, the fisherman guy a fish. Let's see how he likes that. We only need one. Unless it's an absolutely amazing fish that we uh, just can't think of selling. Oh, this one's gonna be fun! Well, we definitely don't need it because we've got one. Um, and Theo's still down there. Okay, that's easy. Just pop down the stairs and around the edge of the beach. And there's a Theo. I went to the lookout the other day and saw your farm. You've done a great job with it. I sing to chill out my soul. Hopefully it hits the same notes for anyone who listens. Thank you for the birthday present. All right. Hopefully it was a good gift. I don't know if it's going to tell us that. Or if we have to wait. Oh, it was a good gift. Alright. I think there's a bug net in here. Waiting for us. Just, just kind of sitting here waiting for us. Isn't there? Yeah. All right, maybe we catch some bugs this evening. That seems like a good idea, right? Could be a bit of fun. We'll get get a coffer or two. Why can I not dig this up? What is going on here? All right, you've asked for it. Oh, why not? I can't just blow up the... Fine. Fine, I'll walk away peacefully.
you know. Seems peace never digs up the collectible. <sighs> oh well. This really is a beautiful little park at night. It's just a gorgeous game. Like, undeniably gorgeous. Grindy. Very, very grindy. But undeniably gorgeous. Seeds. Okay. What? I can live with seeds. I can also live with bugs. Very nice. And that one. Ah! Okay. So I still have to have, you know, some monochrome of skill to catch bugs. Just just a little bit of skill. It, it doesn't take much. But there's gotta be something. In order to catch the bugs. And that really is the struggle that I have. I did catch that one though. That's cool. I got something. And the full inventory. Um. You know, I haven't seen that. F that flower before. I don't think. So. I'm gonna pick that up instead. Not that I have the ability to harvest much of anything else. But, you know. Is what it is. That's just sap. Don't need that. It's fine. Um, let's go ahead and take the Woodlands teleporter and head on home for a bit. I think, well, let's head to the museum first and donate anything that needs to be donated here. Because we couldn't deal with the fossils today because we ran out of cash. But that's okay. See, there's that violin beetle. That'll do nicely. And we got some fossils to deal with. It'll all be great. And with this newfound bug net, well, catching bugs will be a cinch in comparison. Still not very good at it, but you know. Okay. And that can go in now. And I don't know where I've put the maple syrup, to be quite honest. No idea. Ancient battery has been donated, so that can be sold. Which is kind of cool. Those are flowers. I can deal with something with them. We can do a little bit of this kind of stuff. We can grab out a few things here. Oh, good lord. Okay. That's about a day each. That's some... Um, that's something. Oh, that is running lotuses. Okay. Although, the vinegar takes a while, too. So, there's that. Oh, I've never sold a lotus. We gotta sell at least one. Alright, everybody, sorry about that. I had a very uh, sudden reminder that I am getting over a cold still. Um, but we'll keep on selling some stuff. Maple syrup could be a good boost. You know, let's just go for it. Let's sell a little bit of that. We 
couldn't donate that one, so we'll sell that. And sell that guy. And then, yeah, just the remaining jams. That's gonna be bank. That's gonna be really, really nice. Okay. And we should be able to get the shed going soon. I'm just debating whether or not I want to have the sheds up at the top or down below as we head towards the coast. And I think I might want to have sheds and animals more up top. Just aesthetically. You know, like this could be a really good orchard over here. Things like that. Now that we're getting it all cleaned up at all at least. But I think a lot of what we decide to do in the end is going to depend on if we grow crops if we can grow crops in the winter or not. Because if we can grow crops in the winter, well that's a completely different story on how we go about moving the fields. Yeah, that's it. But there aren't really any fall winter crops. I don't know if there's going to be winter crops, in which case we just have a shorter window in which to rearrange. Or if there are just going to, or if there's just going to be a whole season of nothing. But for now, we'll run off to bed. As quick as we can. Get a little bit of relationship with Theo. And, uh, three and a half grand. That'll do. That'll do quite well. Ooh. Dragon fruit juice is okay. It's okay. Um... Price vinegar's nice. Now I kind of want to get that uh, mill up and running and see how that does. But we'll have to see. And then, you know, I'll, I'll take nearly a grand and just random stuff. Okay. Give that a save. And we're going to end the day as well as the episode. So if you guys like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. And until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. Have a good night.